we're an organization of 2,500, so 1,700 sworn members and an additional 800 civilian with uh, policing a city and population of just over a million. If we want to make Edmonton the safest city in Canada, community policing is the must. So, welcome to Southwest Division. So we've been in this building for four years now. What we do is we support crime prevention, crime intervention, youth uh, programs, wellness programs, and education programs. The foundation initially started in 2000 because they saw a need for police helicopter, Air One as we know it. Policing is not just EPS alone. It's the community plus the EPS. The name of the campaign we have is TBFYEG, or True Blue Friend Yeg. To me, a true blue friend is somebody that really believes policing can't be done alone, that the community has to be a part of it. It's five million over five years, and it's the largest undertaking we've ever taken as a foundation. A vast majority of that amount is going to go to the OICC, or the Operational Intelligence and Command Center. I think it's a good synergy, and this command center looks like it's going to be the real deal. So. Pardon the mess, but <laughs> the idea is that the OICC itself will be kind of in this bigger area over here. This will be a 24-7 police unit that will work in conjunction with all of our frontline members and investigators, providing that critical piece of intelligence to our frontline members to respond better to events. But the second part will be to now take kind of that step back and real-time look at crime data as it's coming in. So being able to start to forecast where crime is happening so that we can now make quicker judgment about redeploying resources and deal with those situations sooner. I think that in this day and age, the OICC is an absolute must. So just for a visual, here's NYPD's, the one that Ashif's talking about. Closed circuit TV to mapping to license plate recognition. To see what they do behind the uniform in addition to you know the, the, the standard policing, it's pretty impressive. So I worked with the Boston Bruins, I was a general manager there, and it was the day of the Boston Marathon. Nice day, I went for a jog, it was around two or three. I heard these, uh, this big bang, and there was construction along the Charles, so thought nothing of it, kept going, and then I heard it again, and I stopped. I saw it firsthand, the, the first responders, uh, primarily the, the police, and, and how they dealt with this situation, it, it touched me. These guys are proud public servants, so you see that and it, it's hard not to try and help. Edmonton is known for excellence. You know, we look for excellence in healthcare, excellence in education. Well, we're also looking for excellence in safety and policing. For that level of excellence, the community needs to step up. And that means both corporations and private citizens. It's invaluable and very useful tool and relationship for us that we have that I think contributes to making Edmonton and the community a safer city overall.